Okay, so we are going to start by creating this file here, which will be the template for us uh, creating our design. So if you've not used Inventor before, the first thing that you want to do is go up to File. Um, so it's going to click, there we go, File, New. Um, and then you need to make sure that metric is highlighted. If it's not, you won't be able to see the two that are here. So click on metric and then standard mm uh, and then create. That will start a new uh, part file for you. And the thir first thing that we do is start a new 2D sketch. Okay, so the first, very first time that we do this, we get three different work planes that we can select. Um, go ahead and select one of these. <coughs> it doesn't often matter which one it is that you're going to use. Now we're going to uh, start by choosing rectangle to point. Okay, and then you want to come down, you want to click on the very center here. Click once and let go, and then move your cursor up, and you can see how the dimensions are changing there. Um, I want you to do 80 as the first dimension, so tap in 80, and then press the tab button in the top left part of your um, computer keyboard, and then that will take you to the next dimension, which should be 70. Uh, press enter. Now that square is much bigger because we're so zoomed in we can't see it all but if you hit the um, magnifying glass here called zoom all so if you click zoom all it will bring everything into focus on your screen. The next thing that we want to do is we want to create the circles that we are going to use. So I want you to click on the circle tool and I want you to click roughly around this area. Click once and let go and bring out your cursor our um, circles have a diameter of 5, so I just want you to tap the number 5 now in there and press return. Um, you then want to dimension that circle to the right place. So click on the dimension tool, click on the center of the circle, not the outside, and then click on the top line like that. Okay, And then one more time, click outside here. So it's three clicks that you want to do and you want, then want to tap in 10 and enter and um, you need to, you've done the, uh, the distance from the top line, now you need to do the distance away from this line so click on dimension, uh, you can either click on the center, make sure you don't click on the edge, if you do that it will give you the dimension of the circle so press escape to get out of that, click on dimension again um, and the center, or you could do it the other way around where you click on the line once, it thinks you're doing the line until you click on the center of the circle uh, once and then come up to the top and click again and tap in 10. Okay, we want to do the same thing on the right hand side. Click on um, circle, come over roughly around to this area here, um, start a circle and dimension it by pressing 5 and enter. Then click on your dimension tool, click on the top line, click on the center of the circle. Um, sorry, I accidentally clicked on the side. So click on the top line, click on the center of the circle, and then click on the outside there and tap in 10. And then you want to do the same thing from the side, so click on the side line, click on the center of the circle, and then come up to the top and tap in 10. Uh, actually, this dimension wants to be um, 15, so just double click on that and make that 15 millimeters. This uh, circle is slightly lower. Okay, we want to repeat the same thing down the bottom. Um, so uh, the easiest way to do this, rather than drawing our circles again, is to click on the line tool, then to click on this... Um, uh, construction line here and then hover over this until you get until it goes big so you want to be roughly in the middle um, and if you hover over it will suddenly go big there and that is the center of that line if you draw a central line from one space to the other okay like that um, then you will have this especially if you clicked on this button here that construction line, that means it's a marker line so with line highlighted you click on this construction button and you draw yourself a line across, it then becomes a dotted marker line. With that middle line, we can click on the middle, uh, the mirror button here, and just drag over those two um, circles like that. That's why this button was highlighted. So we've now selected two circles. We then want to highlight the mirror line button, and then select the mirror line that we're going to uh, mirror it around and then click apply and can you see how those two have come over here um, <clears throat> so just to quickly repeat that um, if I just go back like this you click on the mirror 
Um, then with this button highlighted, you select the two circles that you want to do, highlight the mirror line, click on that line and click apply and then done. That's put them there. Okay, so um, <clears throat> that concludes our first uh, tuition video. Go to part two to see the next